Hi guys, this time's once more in English. I just um, had this really long question that I wanna um, really um, give some time to to answering. I'll be reading and answering and um, I hope you guys bear with me. So, I am much interested in cardiac surgery, health chirurgy, but as I see now, one can't be soon at Facharzt level, a good surgeon in Germany, like in other countries. In other countries, usually at Facharzt level, doctors do most of major surgeries of their field, except for complica complicated cases. And if we do work for one to three years further at Facharzt level, so that will we be able to do major cardiac surgeries or not? Um, when talking about something like that, we just have to understand something. There is no generalization in Germany. It's like enormously different from one hospital to another. And in one hospital, it's different from one, um, from one, uh, branch, one specialty to the other. It's very, very individual because there is no boards. There is no one monitoring these things there is no one looking for the progress of the residents there is no one controlling anything it goes like i don't know how and um so to say if we work one to three years so the average people don't get there because there are so many facharts specialists who are done with their um, specialist exams in the cardiac surgery it's like there, it's like standing on a highway with the jam before, uh, be, like where so many cars are in front of you. I hope you understand that. So, but that's the average. Maybe you are not the average. Maybe you are better than average. Maybe you get to do it another way. I've met also people who are like very young, but um, are really successful and have done it. But I think it takes to be uh, very early there, um, starting and getting to know people, coming late and starting late, and then trying to get to the top. It takes some time. It's not impossible. I don't believe there is a world, a word called, called impossible. If I said that, I would be an idiot because I know what's possible. Everything is possible, but we're talking about average. So if you're not in your life, if you if you've always been extraordinary, then you would, you're probably gonna be extraordinary here. But if you in your life never achieved such a major um, success, then you would be probably average here too. And average people, one to three years after Fahad, not really good, not really doing the, the good stuff. Maybe just trying to do the good stuff. So because of the above reasons, now I'm planning to change my mind to cardiology. Medicine. How about cardiology? Our residents become experts at Facharts like in other countries or either are same like in cardiac surgery. So we're coming back to the same point. It's like really individual. Most of the people I know are not really that good. There is no one in Germany who is in Fahad's level richtig gut, um, really good. But this is like, I'm exaggerating. There are some people, but it's not average. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to get to you guys. Average here is not amazing. Like in, I don't know, India or wherever you are sending me this message from. Because you get to work um, the number of cases you're working on is not as much as in other countries where you have an extreme uh, rarity of doctors. So a little amount of doctors get to do a major amount of procedures. That's, that, that's one of the problems. The other problem is residents here do everything but the things they should be doing. That's like my honest opinion. Like residents in surgery, they do everything 
and they just get like 80% of the time they do other things and 20% of the time they operate. And that's, uh, that's about the same thing in cardiology. But that's like average. I have a friend of me who knows what he wants. He wants to be a cardiologist. He wants to be, to be one of the best. And he is like two years away from his, um, from his facharts. But he's doing, uh, he's doing, um, what do you call it? Angiographies. Because he's like so dedicated. He's always there. He's learning. He is like really superior in, um, in human relationships. He knows everyone. Everyone knows him. He is like one of the best. He knows his shit. He works his ass off. And he comes and he's going to be in, um, in shape and really fit in one or three years after his uh, Fahad's exam. But that's not average. Average people are really not that good here because there is no one controlling you and there is no one um, motivating you to do more. If you are not at the top of your game, you lose here because you become average. And that's like most of people here are okay, I would say. <laughs> Not good is something else, but like below good. They're okay. They're not. I'm just gonna stop there because <laughs> it's gonna. I know this. It's gonna make. It's gonna make a problem. <laughs> good is something else. Do cardiology residents perform interventional procedures during residency, or either have to get further? training after becoming facharts for doing interventional procedure. You've got it right. They don't do it in the residency. They do it after they get uh, their facharts, mostly because it's the same dumb problem. You've got people, but you, you got to use them for other uh, jobs. And mostly you have enough specialists doing the job. You're not in need for these young people people. So if these young people are not really trying hard to get these procedures, nobody's going to push them. Because everybody wants that they um, do other jobs like that's where where the one that's where where the problem is. That's where, uh, where the lack of doctors is in the ER in um, in the ICU, in intensive, in immediate care units, and and so and so on, and wards and something like that. But in specialists, or on a specialist level, there are there is not much of a lack. I would like to say, like in most hospitals, not all, but in most of hospitals. And the bigger the hospital, where you have like more procedures the more uh, specialist do you have. So it's like really. As you have experience in heart chirurgy, cardiac surgery, should I choose choose it or not? As I like heart chirurgy more than cardiology. What's your opinion and advice for me? Um, it's, it, it's I, I can't, it's really a hard question. I can't really decide for you. And that's like asking me to decide for you. And I don't believe that I get to see what you see. I believe that every one of us has a path and has inner guidance to find his path and go his path where he can do the most of good. Not only for himself, but for other people. And um, in the first place, for other people. And I don't think I have enough insight to tell you. I just tell you the facts. But the facts are not everything. I mean, sometimes there are people who defy the facts every day and who are better than the facts. You just gotta, what I think is you gotta go away from the noise the noise is what I'm saying. The noise is what everybody's saying. The noise is what you hear here and there and go into yourself. And in these moments of clarity, of unprecedented clarity, you've got to take 
the decision that you feel is right for your future, for your vision, for um, for where you can give the most of you, where you can be all you can be. I don't know where you can be all you can be. Uh, if it's in surgery, if it's in cardiology, I, I would never tell you something like that. I'm telling you the way it is, and you've got to really decide for yourself. I hope that my question helped you. Um, if you still have question, then please send me a message. I'll try to help you, um, all, to all of you. I'm saying that. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. And um, if you don't agree with me, please write me or, or correct me or um, tell me where did I go wrong or where did you not understand? I would be, re would be really thankful to hear from you guys. And um, yeah, thank you. Until the next time.